Anthem on the track Uh, yeah Uh, yeah King shit Yeah, uh, yeah, look I'm from the city where the bums rich yeah. Skyscrapers block the rays when the sun hits One time coming, niggas run quick By the time a baby walk, he got a gun grip I was made for this, yeah I was made for this, I was made for this, yeah I was made for this I'm not a product of the cages that they raise us in Bred to be a king, I'm not a slave to this, yeah I was made for this, yeah Peace family, welcome to another episode Underground Railroad Productions This your host, Brother Rich Let me give this artist props, first of all Uh... For the artwork in New York that we are using for a background. Gotta give the artists their props. You know, very inspirational. Red, what's good, Red? I'm with, I'm with Red Pill out here. Uh, NYC late night NYC tip. No, for you know NYC tip when we talking about tip. That's <laughs> but yo, we yo, we talking about um yo TI came out with this album. Us or else. And before we get into that, Red, a thousand years from now, what's, what's this, 2016? Let's say 3016. Let's say 30, 30, 30, 50. Mm-hmm. The people looking back at us like we look back at Christopher Columbus or whoever we look back at, that might be further than what they, you know, they're going to say hip hop was the one of the most, probably the most effective tools of change the more than one of the most effective tools to change the mentality of the masses at that time for all the fortune 500 companies for the last 10 years they use it in all their commercials everybody it. what'd you say they've adapted it yes adapted it. yes yes all the coaches on the face of the earth listen to this form of music called hip-hop it is extremely influential. It I is. I want to correct you. Yeah, yeah. They don't listen to hip hop because hip hop is the culture. They listen to rap, and they utilize the culture of hip hop in all assets of um, of its expression because it's dance through the um, <clears throat> through the break dancing, which is currently like dabbing and other things. It's through graffiti, which you can see now in so many other forms of just graphic designing, fonts. You know, things of that nature. It is the emceeing, which you can see as trap rap, mumble rap, uh, golden era hip hop, down south rap, snap rap, rest in peace shorty low. You know what I mean? You could do it in, you know, god hop rap, god hop, god, uh, god hop hip hop, all kind of different forms. Esoteric trap. So I'm just, you know, adding on the way that we dress. This is hip hop. Okay, the ancestral iconography, the motifs, you know, things from our, our lineage, things from our whole experience, our whole culture incorporated in the way that we dress, the way that we wear things. This is hip hop, you know, the way that we talk, the way that we walk. So I'm just giving, you know, the whole full spectrum. Go ahead, brother. So with that being said, um... These are very interesting times we're living in. And if they say hip hop is a reflection, all the artists usually say it's a reflection of what's going on in society, then we should see if, if artists is true to what they're saying and they never wanted us to criticize them when they talked about the guns and the drugs because that was a reflection of what they're seeing, then we should see more consciousness in hip hop because of what we're seeing with the police killings and everything on TV, Trump, Everything we're seeing, if they was, if they were never lying when they said what they said five years ago, when they was talking about the drug selling, then what we should see is a change now because society is changing now. Yeah. And I gotta give props to Ti because we're seeing that within his music. I think from a mainstream artist, artist that's on MTV, BT, VH1, multi-platinum, done sold over 10 million albums. For him to release reality a body Reality show star You have to always add that in So I can't hear you Reality show <clears throat> For not Not even a star But a reality show phenomena Cause they don't give you a, They don't talk about the success of his Family based show Right indeed On VH1 
Uh, family business, right? Is that the name of it? He's a household name based off of a family reality show called the T.I. Family Hustle. Okay. Yeah. All right. Which was one of the most uh, successful marketing and promotion campaigns to not only expunge to not only expunge somebody's record but to clean their image in a short amount of time you feel what i'm saying it was done without the theatrics it was done without bells and whistles it was done without him having to dance and coon so yeah so one thing you always talk about red that's very interesting very true something we got to remember is a reward system people get involved in things they, they might get involved in an army whether they believe in it or not because it has a reward system what this brother did with this album us or else that was just released by us talking about it and giving him props for what he's doing it's sort of a reward system and inspires other people to do the same because they want to be praised they want to be like yo I, I you know i look what i did y'all like Ain't nobody watching this? Like, like what the fuck, yo? Can, 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 can you give me some props for doing this? Like, I didn't have to do it, but I did it. Yeah. So, I need a brother like you that has the attention of millions of people all over the world to speak about this body of work because it's real important for other artists to follow in T.I.'s footsteps if they're talking about what they're seeing in society, man. This some, this, 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 this some real shit that T.I. put out, man. He got Big Crit, uh, Meek Mill, Killer Mike on it. It's a six track. Uh, it's, yeah, yeah, From man. Amigos, you gotta put what, that what, in there. What, what's going on with society that T.I., we all know T.I. from here, yeah, strip club T.I., uh, uh, gun charges T.I., beef with shorty low T.I., beef with shorty recipe, low T.I., recipe shorty low T.I., you know what I'm saying? For him to put this out, what is going on in society that we're seeing such changes in these mainstream artists, uh, Red Pill? Once again, Brother Rich, excellent question. I'm honored to uh, cover this segment. And also, like you said, to reward our brother in public. You know what I mean? This is our version of the Black Power Wars. Let's just call this the Know the Ledge Underground Railroad Awards. You know what I mean? We got, we're giving out Tubman Awards. And it's very, you know, it's very... Um, important to acknowledge artists of a caliber such as brother T.I. Tip Harris you know or Cl brother Cliff Harris when they decide to put their career on the line or they rather decide to not sit down and pledge your allegiance but go into something that is the real weapon against white inferiority the real weapon against racism, the real weapon against having our people vibrate at a, um, at, a, at a megahertz of death. And that is changing the frequency by changing the message. By changing the message, you now change the direction of the youth because the youth are following messages and that is what is dictating their direction. So uh, many of them are being led astray by Pied Pipers who have very powerful flutes, you know what I mean? And as a result, they have very powerful messages and their magnetism and the power, their messianic forces, holla back. We're gonna cover multiple narratives in a short amount of time because, you know, we can, co we, we can equate this to multiple narratives that have been um, talked about on this platform throughout, I would say, two years. We started out, the conversation began in one of the first videos, if not the first. The first one was Rick Ro Ricky Ross and the um, him saying that the government is using hip-hop as a governmental weapon against the youth and against the culture. This was Free Ray Ricky Ross, right? Okay, because we're talking about T.I., who was the trap god, because he introduced a form of music in a mind state and he, hold on, cooking right now, let me cook. He led them with trap music and he introduced the bando to you niggas. I was in Atlanta at that time, facts. Do the re, do, give me my background, let's go do a background check. I was in the A from 97 to 2000, I'm known as Twin out there. It's Twin, it's Burger, and it's G Young. bed -Stuy and Flatbush legends who came out there and turned Atlanta, I mean, the story is crazy. 
But we ain't gonna we ain't gonna take the time with that. But I remember him being out there and introducing trap rap on his album. I think this was around 02. 02 or something. You know what I mean? And um it really encapsulated the minds of the youth out there because he had a New York flow or he had an advanced flow for somebody being down south. He you know what I mean? A very a very thoughtful mind and he was a tr he was utilizing his skills to push um you know, being a, a, a dope boy, a trap star. Shout and this out, is something. Yeah. Shout out David Banner for Rubber Band Man. He shout out that. to David Banner for Ru Rubber, Rubber Band, Band Man. Man. <laughs> because it was those beats. It was that production that really pushed them into another level. DJ to where, Toomp. DJ Toomp. <laughs> Rubber Band Man with, um, with David Banner. And then you see Shorty Low coming later on down the line. And he also does what is known as trap music, but he introduces snap music to D4L, which would be the precursor to what you now have as mumble rap. But even him, he was into he took a he took a he took he took trap music and made motivational music. I was in Atlanta, I remember being in Atlanta in 07 when my son was just born, dead ass broke, riding around, pocket shot. Listening to Shorty Low and attributing his the dope boy flow to selling DVDs. And I was hitting every single time. Because there's a power in that music if you know how to utilize it for your purpose. It's not about the money is not evil. It's the shit that you niggas do to get the money that's evil. It's the links that people go to to get the money that's somewhat evil. The money ain't evil. It's an inanimate object, meaning that it doesn't have a fucking ego. Okay? It's neutral. It's neutral. The shit is playing neutral. It's not either red or blue. It's in the middle. It is neutral. It's the energy that you put into it which dictates what it is. So, by him coming forward and... Giving the people a soundtrack, especially in the South, because remember, the South was waking up. That messianic talk that we was just, that cloth talk that we just had about Tupac Amaru Shakur, there's really no other place but the South at this point and other places around America, of course, but concentrated with a whole enclave, that's in Tupac energy down there. That is a Tupac Shakur messianic energy. Remember, he put in the twerk. On the on the pole pit lease in the ATL, I'm talking in Latin, but you know what I'm saying, okay? That's where he put in that work. So there's a whole bunch of other things that are taking place that we could talk about. But all I'm saying is this: the influence that he had on the trap music scene, which birthed all of the shit that you see today. Okay, not to say that he was the only one, but in the South, he is one of the godfathers of that genre. And when it comes to consciousness, what better way to have our brothers be able to balance their scales or be able to take that energy and mature it than to apply it to what it is that we're out here doing on these front lines, waking up the babies, speaking to the people in their language, giving them what it is that they need, you understand, and being very familiar. So that is a plus on the behalf of the movement because like I said before in another video, we need our soundtrack. Okay, this movement is moving, but it's in need of a soundtrack. We don't have a soundtrack. We don't even have any theme songs. Okay, you know, I'm playing my part, but we need more theme songs, meaning we need more music. We are musical people. That's how we move. That's how we are able to energize and charge up. So now people to listen to a lot of, you know, trap rap and other things and have to interpret it. But what about somebody coming forth and just giving it to you? straight no chaser raw revolutionary and he got people talking about you know talking in a more sensible way now i know he'll have his critics and they'll say it's a ploy they'll say it's a, a commercial they say he's just doing it because the whole tep niggas you know what i mean are trending on twitter but i would say stop being so uh, uh pessimistic and judgmental and all you got to do is peep formulas if it doesn't work for you, you feel what I'm saying? As an artist, as a listener, listen to what's being said. See if it resonates with you. And then as an artist, you can even add on. You dig what I'm saying? As a consumer, you have 
as the consumer, you have the rights. The, the rights that you have as a consumer is pressing the buy now button or not. Okay? Nobody's making you do anything. If you want to support the brother, if you think he got too much money, you will go and Google his net worth and then count how much he made last season. That's on you. You know? But yeah. There's this people say this people say that when your vision is bad, your ears get better. Because you concentrate more on your ears. Or when you Ears are bad, your vision gets better because you concentrate more on hearing. So when you're weak in one aspect with your body, you know, the other part it's tends to tends to strengthen. That brings me to what I'm about to talk about. As far as conscious music versus what you call mumbo rap or whatever we want to call it, ignorant music or, you know, whatever we want to call it. Short bus symphonies. The rappers that we say participate in ignorant music they focus a lot on beats. They focus a lot on melodies because they lack their lyrics. Yeah. I feel as though a lot of lyrical artists, conscious artists, because they're so well with their lyrics, they don't focus on their beats. They don't focus on their melodies because they're good lyrically. So they feel as though, you know, they focus strictly on the lyrics. They'll pick a, a strictly a bass line and just make a song with a, a simple bass line or whatever. Yeah, boom bap. Yeah, like like uh, boom bap, like in a simple four drum, like like mm -hmm. the South came with these snares. They came with these eight oh eights. They came with these claps. They, they came, came with, with these the cymbals. They, brought they the came church. with these hi hats and they programmed their hi hats mm -hmm. one sixteen, one sixty four. Like they got because of their they weren't so lyrical as New York artists. They focused so hard on their beats that they made some incredible fucking sounding music yes, that New did. York never progressed to because we felt I don't know why, but it's for whatever reason. So with that being said. T.I., this album right here, Us or Else, he merges the two worlds. He has lyrics and he has some incredible beats. That's something that a lot of artists aren't doing or hasn't been able to do. It's either I'm lyrical and I got garbage beats or I have amazing beats and I'm garbage lyrically. Talk to me why it's been so hard for artists to merge the worlds of, you know, and it's funny, um... Vlad did a, a video with uh, Mark Lamar Hill where he was saying he thought Nas is one of the worst beat pickers of all time. So I just yeah. want to throw that in there. But why has it been so hard for artists to merge the two worlds with incredible beats and incredible lyrics at the same time? To be honest with you, brother, I would be remiss if I were to say, you know, if I were to speak for the majority of the people who have bad beat selection you know, uh, symptoms. I have no idea. You know, I don't understand why nobody has gone into a studio and implemented a formula that was already proven to work. One of the proven formulas, in my humble opinion, was the formula that Tupac Amaru Shakur laid out in the Machiavelli album. Let's not get into all of his albums because you could get lost. I'm talking about the Machiavelli album, the last one that he did, Seven Day Theory. He gave you a good. He gave you a good template. Um, there are other templates. If you didn't follow Dead Prez's template for the first album, then you were not necessarily. You're not paying homage in the creative manner. Not biting. Not copying. And not giving credit to. But actually adding on and being inspired by and saying yo i'm going to succeed i'm going to be the succession of this classic album with this classic sound that had a classic formula what happens to concept albums so i have no idea what the hell has been going on with these artists over the eons but one thing that they haven't been doing is making great memorable music they have not been making anthems they haven't been moving the people dj khaled i continuously told the people he gave you mantras he gave you stuff that you can work with. He made you feel good. It doesn't matter if he doesn't make his own songs. It doesn't even matter if he raps or not. Because he, she showed you it's not about necessarily being the one who raps and makes the music. As long as you're the one who is the producer of the idea that gets created, then you get the credit. So we had to start making more 
music that is indicative to the, the, the change that we're seeing, this renaissance that we're seeing, this movement that's coming alive, this taking, because remember, in this age, not inside of a book, not on PBS, not in your grandma's encyclopedia, but right now, in real time, okay, in 2016, you have a revolution taking place. It is taking place on a global scale, on a global scale, in real time. Not only is it taking place on a global scale, it is taking place on a galactic scale, but it is also taking place in the cyberspace where nobody can never tell me where that address is. Huh? Give me the give me the Google coordinates to where cyberspace is. You can never give me that because it exists everywhere. So now you have a situation where Red Pill could be in New York City chilling with his son or chilling with his daughter or chilling with his wife or chilling with anybody. But his video is in Japan, China, Mozambique, Zimbabwe, the Congo, France, Britain, Italy, Brooklyn, Houston, L.A., Atlanta, Oakland, and everywhere at the same time doing its work. That's revolutionary. That's evolutionary. There, there's never really been a time like that before. So you have to pay attention to the times that you're living in and advantages, the advantages of it. All right. So there's a simple formula that I've always spoken of merging consciousness, merging the streets, hip and hop. Hop is what? An active principle. Hop is moving forward. That's the streets. Hip is what? The mind. It's the intellect. It's the culture. It's the knowledge. OK, hip hop. But it has to be a merger of the two. When you go back into the Bronx in the beginning, it was what? The gangs mixed with what? Niggas didn't like to dance. OK. It was mixed with the intellects. It was mixed with the party goers. It was mixed with the um, graffiti artists who are artisans. People who are such artisans, these are engineers, scientists, and artisans because they took the records, they found a breakbeat, they went ahead and they took some goddamn 45s and they created a whole new art form out of it. They took cardboard, they took spray cans, Krylons from the goddamn hardware store and they created priceless art. So what are you saying? These are alchemists. Okay, these are legends. These are the gods. This is how your DNA wakes up in times of fortitude, in times of what I said before, pressure busts pipes, but it also makes diamonds. You smile in the face of adversity, you carry that bitch, you push the weight, and then you get the reward. There's no reward without risk. So where I was born in the Bronx, there's all kind of risk around me, but I'm living the reward because that's hip hop. So all I'm saying is this, Whatever we've gone through as a people, whatever we're going through right now, there's one million plus artistic people that are in this world right now, that are out here. It's about two million niggas with a record deal. It is your duty at this point in time to record and to conceptualize and to don't talk about pain and agony and all of the stress that's coming with seeing people die on the fucking internet. But meanwhile, you watching people die every other day, everywhere else, and you didn't have a problem with it before. You was watching Saw. You was watching Hostel. You was watching everything from Rob Zombie. You was watching bum fights. You was watching world star fights. You was watching dogs kill fucking cats. You was watching all kind of shit. You was watching men put fists up women's ass. You do all of that stuff, but the minute something comes on Fox and a black man gets killed, you niggas have a fucking sissy fit. But you was watching uh, them put an 11 year old in a garbage can in Chicago, and you didn't have a problem with that. You didn't stop going to fucking work because of that. You was you didn't have a problem when 500 people in Chicago got murked off black lives didn't matter then you're selective with your fucking black lives okay you play selective a cognitive dissident with black lives all right if the nigga's too black his life don't matter if he had a record then his life doesn't matter okay so don't kill me miss me with the bullshit so so one thing I noticed with the culture and with hip hop right now with rap music is that for some strange reason you know the majority of hip hop right now is heavy with the 808 bass heavy heavy with 808 for some reason people who consider themselves intellectual conscious 
uh, hip hop, uh, what do you call that? Hip hop historians, not historians, but you know, purists, Puritans. Puritans, Puritans. They feel as though the 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 music that's heavy with the 808, that's low frequency shit. I don't, I don't put that in. That's low frequency shit. Yeah, megahertz. That's that you know that's low for in, in, in I mean in a, in a scientific aspect. It is a low frequency, but we're talking about on another aspect, on a, I guess, on a, 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 um, a spiritual aspect. People oh, feel we've as had though, this conversation. Yeah, people feel as though it lowers a person's frequency. Okay. That you know, I, I can't and, and, and add that in my music. And you know what? Traditionally, and, and, and bands, the, the bass player was one of the most important pieces because all we're talking about is bass foundation. Yeah, the bass player bass. even. That the, lower the, the, chakra that has the, to be there. The one thing that makes us stand out from other races is the bass in our voice. Facts. So they always have the church members. If you notice, the pop stars, when they want a, a song and they want it to really stand out, they put a choir in the background. Yes. Because of the bass of the black people's. This is this has nothing to do with racism. There's this bass in black people's voice naturally. Baritone. So 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 this is a natural part of our being. So. I see T.I. had this bass, he has this 808, and he has conscious at the same time. What the hell happened where 808 became unconscious or, or, or ignorant? Or, you know, it got associated with all this negativity. How is that, uh, Red Pill? I mean, once again, I have no idea why the sound of bass music would be attributed to something that is negative when the bass or the bottom or the lower chakra if you want to say bass shoot root chakra that is still foundation now the job of a producer or the job of a a, a beat maker is to build on top of that bass you can add in strings you can add in whatever that you want to raise the frequency to something that is very much higher, but you're building on top of that bass. The bass is what's making people dance. The bass is what's making women want to shake. The bass is what's making dudes, you know, and they turn up and, they, and they're able to go with that bass. They're able to ride the bass. So I don't have a problem. The bass is something that charges, it, it charges me up when I'm listening to certain songs. It gets me going. You feel what I'm saying? When that bass drops, you know, a lot of my music that I just made for this new project is heavily bass driven. It's very heavy bass driven because it's about appealing to people based on the music that they're used to in their region. So if I know that I'm in the bottom of the map, the bottom of the map dictates bass, it's bottom. Remember the bottom of the map and also Dirty South Atlanta, they deal with a lot of what? Bass, bass level energy. Base level energy meaning that that shit is a sexual paradise. Not only is it a sexual paradise or a sexual hotbed, it's dealing with lower chakra energy, sex, money, and murder. It permeates, hold on, it permeates the dirty south. It permeates um, Florida. It permeates those bottom of the map places. I am not saying that that's something that I'm co-signing. I'm not saying that, that I'm just identifying the fact that this is the bottom of the map. It's called the bottom of the map. It's at the bottom of America. Uh, North America the prominent the, the prom the prominent music that comes out of those places that are that, that those places are known for and are creating millionaires and billionaires out of is what bass heavy music right that bass heavy music it appear it appears it appe appeals it charges right the lower chakra now those of us that are alchemists those of us who know how to go into that underworld, those of us who know how to go deep into the root, we are we are the ones like a TI who are you have to be able to carry this shit. This is not for everybody. You have to be actually made for this. So Andre 3000 went into a, he he was he was in the south, in the dirty south, in the bottom, as well as CeeLo, as well as Goody Mob, as well as Outkast, as well as every, uh, a few other people. They were able to take that bass heavy music. They were able to take the double time flow. They were able to cook up something that was out of this world. It was out of this world. You feel what I'm saying? And they they were all but they were appealing to the women still, right? It wasn't dripping in uh 
it wasn't dripping in um in the sauce. You know what I mean? It wasn't dripping in wax sauce. They managed to get Grammys. They managed to get all kind of record deals. There was a formula that was being used. That formula got passed on to Future. As much as people like it or not, he they passed on a formula to him that he has used and utilized to his benefit. Now, T.I. coming out, utilizing that bass heavy formula and that trap rap and, and that, that style, double time flow, to speak a positive message or to speak a message of empowerment because it's really about empowerment. He's empowering his people because what are our people suffering from? The people suffer from a lack of knowledge. The people suffer from self-hate. The reason why the youth is in, in the hoods right now and many other places going in on each other like that is predicated in its roots, its root, its foundation, its root chakra is dealing with trauma, self-hate, and some other things. Sometimes it comes out, real quick, sometimes it comes out corny when people try to use positive messages over this type of music, the uh, bass driven music or the southern music or very melodic music. So yeah. that's why, you know, yeah. Well, street consciousness. Let's go back to street consciousness. What worked in the 80s was street consciousness. Rock him is a art is a real legend in the streets. He wasn't just a rapper, okay? And the people that he rolled with are, are, are certified urban legends for being real dudes and doing real things and also indulging in what is in, in the underworld and surviving it in the 80s when it meant something. Not, not now in Disneyland when you're just, you know, you just get points in your, in, to go to Disneyland. No, I'm talking about in the 80s when there was dinosaurs roaming these streets, when it was very, uh, you know, the frequencies were, were, were different. So when you when street consciousness is what the brother's doing, he's not necessarily doing positive rap. He's not okay. necessarily okay. doing tree hugger rap. Okay. No offense to those who <laughs> hug trees. Okay. He's not necessarily doing tabli, talib quali. Trees got information. Yeah, trees got a lot of information and we will hug, we do hug trees. You understand? And do we smoke some of them too? So shout out, trees li tree lives matter. So, <laughs> okay. He's not giving you that. He's not giving you soy rap. His, his bars do not have soy a sauce on them. It's not saucy with the soy. Okay, he's talking about Merc and shit. He's talking about don't, you know what I mean? He's talking about, he's talking to the, to the hood. He's talking to the brothers in the bando and just giving them some instructions. Remember, the youth need instructions. And they're not going to listen to the Poindexters. They're not going to listen to the lames. They're not listening to no fuck. They, they're not jumping on the coon train. They're not listening to the lame. I'm telling you, they're not rolling with the coons, the toms, the niggas that want to dance, the niggas that are buck dancing. Y'all are making yourselves targets watch how many nfl niggas start not standing up for the pledge of allegiance now you got to remember the influential are here to influence the influential the influential are here to influence the influential meaning that it's our jobs to influence a ti and then he goes ahead and he influences his flock that's how it works. That's how the renaissance of before worked. You seen the um, thing with Nina Simone. She was chilling with Malcolm in his crib. Okay? When you merge the arts and the sciences, that's when you have a renaissance. That's when you have a revolution. The artists, the athletes, the actors, the thespians, they have to merge with the conscious ones in order to get this thing moving the way that it's supposed to move. They have the resources. They are the talent. They have the skills. They have the access. They have to get with the people who have the scripts, who have the ideas who have the intellectual property and all kind of other things they have to make a merger a collaboration and by collaborating they will see history be made in real time history is already being made in real time okay history is being made every goddamn minute of the day right now but I'm talking about upgrade. I'm talking about level up. I'm talking about something that has never been seen facts initiative remember we had 30,000 people at $20 a week but we also had 20 people at 30,000 a week as well to make it work. 
It works both ways. 20 people at 30,000 a week. The same 30,000 that was went up in Onyx. The same 30,000 that got tossed in um diamonds. The same um 30 racks that got tossed in Magic City. All of those 30,000s. The same 30,000 that got blown at the Gucci store. The same 30,000 that got blown in Phipps. The same 30,000 that got tossed in the Louis store. Yeah, I'm talking about that 30,000 because that 30,000 is going to rebuild and not only what it's going to rebuild, it's going to re-educate, it's going to re realign okay and it's going to redesign our neighborhoods our villages our towns all kind of things our networks our businesses uh, you name it we have to be able to build with those who can make change happen right now remember time is not what you think it is the time that you think that we have we don't have that time Okay, this is a quickening. Shit's supposed to be happening overnight. It has the ability to happen in days. You have the ability to see this, the whole project, the whole trajectory of our people who are awake and who are aware. When I say our people, I'm talking about those that are ready to fly, not those that are ready to fry, not those that are ready to die. Okay? Those that are ready to live, that's who I'm talking it to. And we have the numbers to prove it, that it's time to move forward and we don't have to wait for anyone's permission. And we got soundtracks now. We got people that are riding for the cause right now. We got people who are waking up to their true self right now. Stop being so pessimistic and nigga minded and poverty minded to whereas you don't accept things for what they are and add on and then make things make things um happen and make things unfold the way that they supposed to you start putting restrictions and curses and spells because of your lack you be in lack you understand what i'm saying you're not used to doing anything different you want to revolve you want to keep doing the same fucking things in your revolution you want to keep doing things in a circle and stay in your hamster wheel because i know i ran from success too bro I did that shit. I know what it feels like. Sometimes I do the Usain Bolt dash on success because it's a scary thing. It's not for everybody. Okay? It's not for everybody. And I get it. And I self-sabotage a lot. I'm guilty of that. You understand? And we're doing that as a whole race. We're doing that as a whole. We're self-sabotaging ourselves and apologizing for our greatness. We are putting our hands up. We are don't shooting. We are being passive. We're acquiescing to what we call white supremacy when that doesn't exist. It's white inferiority and we are the supreme ones. We are genetically superior. We don't have to apologize for that. There are people on the planet that are recessive and they're acting very recessive like around people who are genetically superior. But those people who are genetically superior are not acting like that they're not stepping into their right selves they're not operating on their higher frequencies they're not operating in delta they're in alpha beta so they're getting treated like that and you got to understand that we are the ones who create our own realities so utilize the art utilize the pen where are our movie makers where are our videographers where are our graphic designers where are our illustrators where are our artisans our playwrights our script writers all of these people are needed front and center right now it should not just be me and my brother and a few other people out here doing what it is if we're going to do that we need the assistance of everybody to come on board movies are created by hundreds of people working in unison with each other collaborative economics okay and then they put their they put their needs and all kind of their, their their interests and their desires into that project or into that idea and they make that gain valuable wealth and that's how they monetize and commodify what it is that they are sent here to do okay it's not rocket science i got one last question for you yeah. red i know it's getting kind of late where do you expect? It's three in the morning right now. Let's three, just put that on the record. Three eighteen. We out here working. Okay, <laughs> this is not a game. Hold up to me. They may not believe me. We in the witching hour. Ah, oh, this shit. Hold up. Yeah, they may not believe me. <laughs> Yo, so um, <clears throat> so red. So with everything going on with this album from Ti, I mean, like. It just came out midnight. It's three in the morning. It came out. I think it came out midnight. So, what direction do you expect hip hop to come? It can can an artist like Ti with us or else, 
and Young Thug exist at the same time? Because some people said that's how it was in the 80s. There was diversity. But for some reason, it just became all negative. So do you have a problem with a brother like T.I. and Young Thug and the strip club music and all that existing at the same time? Is that what hip-hop is supposed to be about? Or it's supposed to be all positive or what? What do you think? Elijah Muhammad said you put the dirty glass next to the clean glass and you let the people decide. What we're seeing, it is a micronism of a macronism. The same way that the streets is waking up and coming into the consciousness, it's the same way that the industry is changing as well. It's the same way that things are changing all around us. So I'm looking at it like as, because I'm in the streets, I'm out here. And when and when the streets see me on these on the YouTube and they know me and my brother from the streets, from the industry, from the clubs, from Atlanta, from Miami, from New York, from Bed Stuy, from Flatbush, from all of the places that we made our names throughout our um, journey, throughout the Heru journey, the hero journey. The hero twin journey, okay? All of the places that we activated, all of the grids that we charged up, all of the places where we planted seeds, all of the places where the sleeping giants are waking up. So we're like, yo, the same way that that's happening, it's only right that the handful of artists that are within the industry are becoming more conscious, okay? Like, keep it a buck. Over the decade, Jay-Z has become conscious. And it's a version of consciousness that y'all might not agree with because you might still be judging him for what it is that he did in his other side of his life or his unbalanced side. Because remember, there's still twin and there's, there, and there's red pill. I got to live out both destinies. I got to live out both lives. So you got your T.I., he got to live that out. Let him live out this side of his life. Remember, they killed Pac and they killed Big before they could live out other chapters or other parts of their lives. Like I said before, you are timeless. Your spirit has been here forever, okay? You don't have an age, but your spacesuit does. Your body has an age. It does solar revolutions 365 days or 360 days around the sun, okay? You have information that it's time release. They, they, they mean it when they say that you got to be here. You have to sit at the feet of the masters or you got to be on this planet for 40 revolutions in order to be considered a master mason, a master builder. It's a different fucking cloth. Yo, I brag different. I, I brag different. I'm 40 years old. I go in my bag different. Okay? It's just different. So you should want to get here. And then you should want to get to 80 like where Sabi was. And be an enlightened master. So you don't have to come back and do this again. Okay? So, I'm seeing a merger take place, a convergence. This is hip hop or resurgent, but now it's God hop because the gods are activated and they're hopping. There's certain active principle that the streets bring that people who are bookworms, okay, and I'm not being negative towards my bookworms out there. Keep 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 doing your worm thing, you know. My my people who are scholars or not warrior scholars, they're just regular scholars, researchers, reporters. People who have different lanes that are not necessarily within the lane of the warriors, that are not necessarily in the in the lane of those who have active principles, they are godding. Godding is a verb. They're kinging. Kinging is a verb. You know what I mean? A king and a scholar is two different kind of lanes. It has nothing to do with each other. So like I said before, you when you, you got people that if you ask them who's God, they'll go into a book. Then you got people, they'll go into Facebook or they phone book. Because they're going to revere the people that are here right now, God, and, and right here doing the work. They're not, they don't have that kind of, um, what do they call that word? Huh? Insecurities. Yeah, they don't have that. So, I'm not saying that T.I. is the second coming of Tupac. I won't go that far after the brother put out four songs. I'm saying that I, I'm, 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 I'm applauding the God. Reward system. Reward system, shit, come to the Black Power Awards. We'll have an award forged for you, good brother. We need you in our presence. It'll be great when you see Young T.I. and um, Red Pill on, T on the film together. You know, it might even look like one of my twins. But we all, we all have, diff we have similar phenotypes. So you got to do the knowledge about phenotypes going into pedigree and stock. There's a stock 
on this planet that is out here. There are, there are stocks, there are pedigrees that are out here doing the work. And you could tell through their phenotype who they are. So if they're not activated at that time, it don't mean that they don't have that God particle or that God gene or that black Messiah within them. That's what I'm saying. The shit that's taking place in Chicago, they're killing off messiahs. The shit that's taking place in Baltimore, they're killing off messiahs. It's not the folk and po it's not the police. It's these black devils is killing black messiahs. You understand? The shit that's going on in St. Louis, it's no coincidence. The shit that's going on in Charlotte, all of the places where they got police murders are murder capitals before the police murder. Talk about that. Nobody want to talk about that. Nobody want to talk about that. Huh? Is the spirit realm beginning to work for you niggas? Nobody wants to talk about the fact that all of the places that have these police murders already are murder capitals. They are already graveyards. They are already sacrifices taking place in the hundreds or the thousands of our own people prior to the police case that you niggas know about. Okay, so anyway, people like T.I. stepping up, that could help save that and stop that. That could put a stop to that. It's going to be the rapper's job because the rapper's messages were so strong throughout the centuries, throughout the decades, I mean, that these people are now under spells. There's, there's young children that came up listening to T.I. from the womb. That's all they know. There's young, there's young guys that's coming up listening to Young Thug. That's all they know. There's young people that came up listening to Trap Rap, Shorty Low, Gucci Man, Guwap, and all of that. That's all they know. So it's going to take those people in order to deprogram them. So Gucci man being a vegan and eating right or whatever, that's a plus. Waka being a vegan, that's a plus. All of these little things mean something. Let's stop being judgmental. Is this the fucking Inquisition? Y'all be acting like y'all want to burn niggas or something and nail them up. Y'all acting real European and Romanistic. Let, the, let these people evolve. Like I said, balance. If all of my my, my aunts out there, it's about that balance. Okay, but some of these people is gorillas and savages and they have a they have a warrior like nature like they are they are whole states where the energy in that state is all warrior like but y'all not pointing them in the direction to take that warrior energy and do something because y'all scared and that has to change. I come from an era. I keep saying this and I, I can't apologize for it. I come from an era where people were not afraid of white people. White people were terrified of the black men, okay? They were scared to death. They crossed the street. We used to walk 100 deep, okay? Right? 80 deep, 100 deep. I'm going to show y'all all kind of front page news articles when I do the lecture. But fear of a black messiah or a black or more messiah, they fear. It's not that they hate. It's more of a fear, it's a difference. It's more of a fear that ties into jealousy and envy and some other things. It's not necessarily a hate. It's a love-hate kind of relationship, but it's more about a fear. They fear that messianic force. So salute to the brothers. Salute to all of my creators out there. Producers, hit us up at the Mart 125th at Gmail with them beats. This project that we got coming, I believe it's going to come in the scorpion season. You know what I mean? Maybe on 11-11. We're going to drop that right before the Black Power Wars so y'all can get a taste of what we've been cooking over the years shout out to Cambada, shout out to blue pill shout out to everybody that's involved in this scorpio king project you know what i mean salute to rich salute to saw baba tv uh, mama pill kt everybody that's out there and for bookings hit me up as well the mart 125th at gmail and holla at your peoples all right peace anthem on the track uh yeah Yeah, uh, yeah, look I'm from the city where the bums rich yeah. Skyscrapers block the rays when the sun hits Woo. One time coming, niggas run quick. quick By the time a baby walk, he got a gun grip I was made for this, yeah. I was made for this Woo. I was made for this, yeah. I was made for this Woo. I'm not a product of the cages that they raise us in no. 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 Bred to be a king, I'm not a slave to this yeah. I was made for this